Hello, I'm Mr. Rob. I'm Cora. I'm Cyan. And we're with the Grand Rapids Public Museum's Camp Curious program. And today, we're going to be junior paleontologists and do a fossil dig activity. But first, what's a paleontologist? Someone who's, somebody who studies fossils from the past, like dinosaurs. They also study things like plants, bacteria, animals, fungi, really any living organisms that help you determine Earth's past. That's really interesting. And they have to keep very good records of what they're doing so that they can share their findings with the rest of us. So are we ready to get started? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to move out of the way here. So you need a few supplies. First, you need a container, preferably something that's square or rectangle, but a circle would work as well. It can be glass, metal, anything. Also, you're going to need a ruler. This is to help measure the depth that you can record on your journal. Also to measure the size of the objects that you're digging up. You're also going to need some dirt and things that you'll find outside like sticks, acorns, pine cones, stuff like that. Then you'll need rocks or toys or really anything you can bury. Um, some spoons, string, some paintbrushes, q-tips, uh, sticky notes, and last but not least, a sharpie. So all these materials are things or similar to things that paleontologists would use for both the dig site and uncovering what they're uh, finding and also the journals. So let's build our, our dig site. All right, so first we need some, some dirt, some soil, and you can just go anywhere in your backyard. Again, ask permission before you dig anything up, but you can go and just dig up stuff that you find outside. You start with a thin layer that covers the, the whole bottom. So saying, let me show real quick. It's not a lot of dirt to start, but you have a layer that covers up everything um, from the container. And now add in a few of your objects that you want. You can place them around in any different directions and order a few at a time. All right, and now we're ready for the second layer. All right, so as you're finishing up the second layer, you're going to continue to do this process until you get pretty close to the top. Um, and you might top it off with some moss or other things that are fun. When you get all of the layers in that you want and topped it off with your you know, fun things you find outside, then you create your grid with the string. So here's our example. You have one going sideways, one going long ways. You see that? All right. And then we put post-its because um, we didn't necessarily want to draw on the container. But you can also draw, if you're using something like this, the different coordinates. So if we're going to do a dig here, it's going to be in quadrant A1. So this is what your final dig site will look like. Now are we ready to start digging and exploring? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get started. I start by using a wider brush and scooping the dirt into the spoon, kind of like a broom in a dustpan, to remove excess dirt one layer at a time. I use the tweezers to get rid of any large objects that are in the way. Oh cool, I found something. It's a shark tooth. Once I find an object, I clean it with a smaller paintbrush to remove any dirt without damaging the fossil. This is a cool shark tooth. I'm going to make a detailed drawing of it so I can recognize it later. Then I measure the length, width, and height to document the size. The measuring combined with the sketch can help me and others identify the object later on. Let's keep digging to see what else we can find. Ooh, this rock has some shell fossils. This looks like a small piece of coral. Now I found a brachiopod, a Petoskey stone, last a small brachiopod. I'm going to sketch the rest of the objects that we found in quadrant B1. I'm going to draw them in order of depth found. Paleontologists 
paleontologists use their field journals to record their drawings that may be used in publications to generate public interest or as a way to identify the object. Now I write down the depth in centimeters that each one is found. We've finished up with our dig. Nice job, you two. Cora, why don't you share with everyone what you found? Brachiopods, Petoskey stones, shells, and a shark tooth. Nice. Good job with the dig. Now, Cyan, you created an excellent journal um, of the dig. Why don't you share what, what you did? Okay, so I did drawings of everything that we found in the dig and marked the depths of them. And then for the thing that I found the most interesting, it was the shark tooth. So I did a big sketch of the shark tooth and measured everything and filled out all the information about it and then some interesting facts. So the one that I found the most interesting was that a vase dated from 725 BC shows the first human and shark encounter. I thought that was really cool. That is pretty interesting, isn't it? Nice job. Nice job, both of you. If you've enjoyed that and want to do your own dig or other activities, um, you can find more information about fun stay-at-home activities at grpm.org. Bye! Bye.